So today we are going to unbox five Raspberry Pi Picos. Right after the intro. So let's start unboxing and after we've unboxed it, I will talk to you about the how what the Raspberry Pi Pico is used for, what you can code it in and stuff like that. So let's unbox this. They come in empty static bags. Okay, so and it also comes in this inside the empty static bag. So if we just peel this off. And then take out the peeker. So that is the RP2040 processor, um, it's dual core up to 133 MHz. Okay, let's unbox the other Pies, Picos. <clears throat> They're not really Raspberry Pis, they don't run on a desktop operating system, they're just microcontrollers. They can be written in C, um, all the C things like Objective C, C, C+, C++, C sharp. Why are there so many C's? Anyway, let's get this out. I'm going to be using these in a few projects. That's why I have so many. Although there are there is such thing as a pack of 100. Ooh, ooh. Anyway, they're very light, so that's our second Pico. I already actually have one of these, but um, I need them more. Um, so, may as well do an unboxing, and remember to subscribe and hit the bell if you want our review of it. Um, it's coming up soon. satisfying just grabbing all of these picos and they have <coughs> micro usb ports on them third pico done two to go and they also need no knives to unbox which i think is quite good That's Pico number four, and I select it to go into um, to boot it into a USB mode so that you can actually put files onto it. As you press and hold the boot select button there. Moving on to the final one. And they're about six. It, they're six dollars nine. Uh, six dollars ninety in New Zealand, and this is just talking in New Zealand dollars. I'm wrapping the final one. So um, they also have LEDs here, which you can program their GPIO pin twenty five. Okay, so um, I'm going to be using these in a few projects. I actually have six of these. Um, these are just five of them that haven't been unboxed. Well, they're now unboxed, but look at them all. That's 10 cores I'm holding in my hand. 
because they've they both, they've each got dual core processors, a couple of kilobytes of RAM. So the uses for these, they're used for like, they can be used for robots, they can be used for um, like machine learning, they can be used for as Python terminals. Um, you can connect literally anything to them. So. Thanks for watching, I hope you have enjoyed. This is a bit of a different video. And I have all this mess to clean up. Um, so, bye.